Hello and good day everyone, my name is Sebastian and I am the Novice Prospect. So, two days ago, Infraspace released. It finally left, um, you know, early access and went into 1.0 release, or it's actually 1.3.365, as you can see down in the corner. And I thought I'd take the opportunity and give you sort of the first hour of gameplay. Right? I mean, why not? Um, there's mod support, so you just need to go into the Steam Workshop, download the mod, and off you go, and then, you know, they'll appear here, and just enable them as you want, right? For, for this very first playthrough, or, you know, play attempt, um, we're going to leave mods off, okay? Just so I can show you the base game um, as it's meant to be played. And we're going to go with the easy difficulty for both the game difficulty and the transport difficulty. So game difficulty yeah, controls how many products citizens need. The higher the difficulty, the better you have to manage your economy. So, um, you know, you're going to have to upscale a lot more the harder your difficulty is. Whereas transport difficulty is how many items vehicles can carry. And the higher the difficulty, the fewer items can be carried at once. So instead of, say, having 12 or of, of iron you know on a truck uh, you'd ha only have maybe four you know just as a sort of idea of what what, what could be done uh, you can disable or enable certain options here to sort of cheat your way into the game and make it a bit easier but let's just jump into desert valley the the default map that's sort of been um yeah, growing and living with us since <laughs> the early days of Infraspace. Uh, you could also go for a randomly generated map. I love this, by the way, that they've now got this procedur procedurally generated stuff. Um, good on you guys. So, you know, we're going to go with Desert Valley and say start game. Technology is the pillar on which we have founded our civilization. In the year 2351, Scientists created the first warp drive, kicking off a race for the stars. As the population expanded on Earth, the rise of exocolonies allowed humans to take life beyond natural boundaries. But technology, like humans, is fallible. The passenger ship Antares was carrying thousands of colonists when a pressure valve overheated and failed, changing the destination of the warp jump. Light years from home, the damaged ship now sits stranded. The crew lacks the materials necessary to repair Antares, but a nearby exoplanet is looking promising. Nepper 3, a planet with plenty of mineral deposits on the surface. In order to survive, they need to establish a settlement here and start mining for resources. It was human ingenuity that got them this far. And to continue on this journey, they will have to rely on it once more. The mission will not be easy, but it's their only hope. And so we're loaded into the map now, right? Um, yes, that's all good. Happy playing. Okay. Um, uh, build a road next to sulfur. So let's talk about controls quickly. Um, WASD, you know, WASD, is for your movement. You can also use the arrow keys if you wanted. Yeah, for the south pass uh, under us. Um, that's super helpful. With the middle mouse button. So where your scroll wheel is, you can actually click on that, right? And when you hold that, you can rotate your camera. With the right mouse button, for, that is for, for right-handed people, by the way, right? Um, you can drag. And with the left, you basically select and place things okay you also might find it handy that if you hit control once it changes a mode down here the, the grid mode right so at the moment i'm a, a no grid mode now i'm in um a zero degree grid or a four or five degree grid so you can actually align your builds depending on what you would want right so and i will decide as we build 
Um, we can snap to roads if we wanted to, but first we need to build roads, okay? Um, let me talk about resources. So we've got sulfur over here. We've got crude oil in these sort of darker patches. Okay, this is uh, fairly important in the beginning. Uh, we've got chemicals over here. We have got, if I'm not mistaken, iron, yes. And copper is there, okay. We should also have uranium or something somewhere, um, if I'm not mistaken, something like that. This aluminum or aluminium, depending on which part of the world you're from. In Germany, we say aluminium. So that's what I'm going to go with. Um, but you know, there's plenty of resources and it is a big ish map. You know, there's plenty of space. What was this? Iridium ore. That's, this is, I think, what I was looking for. Right, so this is going to be interesting to get to. Um, verticality is an important component here. What do we have here? Oh, methane. Methane. We, we need that at some point as well. So we don't want to be too far away from that. So copper, iron, sulfur, aluminum, aluminium. Other YouTubers are poison in my mind. I can tell you that right now. That's why I mispronounce it. <laughs> Anyways, I think I'm going to build sort of in this area. Like this seems reasonable to get to. Oh, and there's uranium. What else do we have? Yeah, like methane. I just need to make sure we've got oil close-ish. So if we don't have that, then it's going to be difficult. So I might as well start over here. Crude oil, sulfur, even better. Sulfur, iron. Yeah, do it over here. Okay. So I found a little starting site, okay? And I can I can be very indecisive about that sort of thing. Let's build roads. So we, want, we don't want to build them through the sulfur mine. We want sort of one or two blocks distance. Um... Road, and then we're gonna just build, right? Um, that's gonna take three concrete. And since we're talking about resources up here, you can see the resources we have: there's concrete, as steel, our power generation and consumption, the jobs that we have, as well as population and housing. Okay. Anyways, we not quite done. I would like to maybe do a um, thing like this. Okay, so we've already got sort of access to that, so the iron that we're going to need. Next, we're going to need mines, so... Sulfur mine? Cool. Let's, um, I don't know, let's place them over here if I can, no. Yeah, one. And so there's this funny little concept with snapping to the road. You, you can see at the front of the building, so to speak, there's, a, there's an entryway, right? And if you're going into a corner like this, it'll, it'll snap wherever your mouse is sort of gravitating towards so if I'm, I'm sort of pointing more right as you can see it's actually snapping on that block uh, on that road rather than the bottom road right so you can with a little bit of careful mouse um, manipulation you can actually achieve um, the desired effect here so then we need sand I'm gonna leave it like so because then we need a um, concrete factory, which I'm going to plonk, plonk right there. Right, and then this whole stuff needs power. So let's wind. That's all we have at the moment. And you want to make sure that the efficiency is 100% or very, very close to. Okay. Then we need a power pole to take that power and, you know, distribute it. To say there. And then once we have that, we need to put this, uh, the concrete somewhere. So we put it into the small construction material storage. Oh, that's changed. So this used to be just this building. There never used to be a small version of that. But I, I like it, I like it. Um, and I'm going to try and point out sort of the obvious changes to me that I see between what I've seen in early access, say, three months ago two, three months ago, 
and obviously pre prior to that, and what's now new in the release. And I know a lot of this has actually been spoken about in the blog, right? Um, so if you've been keeping up with that, you know, you would probably know already some of this anyways. So with one and two, you can control your two speeds that you have. I wish there was another one. I, I wish they had one more. But, you know, it's fine. And we can see the trucks literally going and delivering the concrete that we've just made there. So we need basic habitats. Um, I like the idea of having the habitat away from where people live. Okay. Um, yes, make sure I'm sort of aligned on that same... Really, you're not going to give me 5.0 concrete? Fine. And come down here for about 3 concrete. I like that. And then my actual housing districts will come off, uh, say, oh, from here. Sort of like this, maybe. I don't know. Okay. <coughs> I've never really moved all that far in infraspace, to be honest. Um, so, let me go and plonk. Leave one space there, one. And you can also hold and drag. Three, four, and five. Okay, I like that. Then we're gonna need an atmosphere processor to make O2 and carbon. And a water and air filter to, well, you know, make water. And this thing would like power, so let's go and extend that straight away. So here's what the thing I'm talking about, the efficiency. Yeah, you could have them close enough so they actually cross link straight away, right? Like that. But you're running each only at 60% efficiency. So you may not want to do that. So how about maybe this? You know, we're running both at 100% efficiency. And we'll just plonk a power pole in between. And... I don't know if I like this, what what it's done there, but okay, gonna change it. Gonna try and come so from here and just come along on the road. I like that idea maybe more. Okay, just sort of lay a little power pack backbone like that. Um. Now we need a spaceport because we need people, right? They're not going to just magically jump out of the air, like the dwarf would say. And that's it. Now we wait for, you know, people to reach our town. And there's 10 immigrants ready to move in. That's a good thing. So we just need to supply the basics to those houses. Um, good. I'm going to leave it just like this for now. Right. And then habitats will upgrade with the supply of more, you know, uh, resources. So oxygen is, is the basic need here. Um, but if we give them water and survival food, they will actually upgrade to... Well, not basic habitats. The next level up, basically. And we can probably help this along. Because I know for a fact I will need... Another atmosphere processor. And I'm going to need also another water air filter. For sure. And is that correct? Doesn't... That looks correct. Yes. Um... Right, so we've just doubled that output, basically. And you want me now to build a research lab. Okay, let's let's do that. But we're going to actually, you know, maybe come off somewhere. I like this idea. So come along. So it connects there. And then we're going to bring it along here for three concrete. And then, let me see, because I'm going to need oil for this whole endeavor. So I went in the wrong direction. Oops. We're going to need oil for research. I found that out the other day. That's that's a new thing, by the way. It used to be only uh, 
something to do with it was like electronics components that you needed for for your first research i think um but anyways let's set a science center up say here i like this idea i would like it to be yeah right on there and then with i think e and q no you can raise yes with r and f you can raise and lower the roads to certain levels all right so we can do something like this and yeah science center go and build me the research lab right there i like that and then you're gonna need blue science factories okay i'm gonna make two of them for now now crude oil make another gravel road bring it along say to here that'll do me for now and then please small mine crude oil extractor okay so they, they can just be placed here anywhere okay that's, that's actually quite cool how far can i go here wait what oh you didn't ah gosh darn it didn't connect to the road that's sort of my fault um i didn't see that connection there it is but you're just not building it that's why and by the way do i get those resources back uh, half of it okay so we need to be more careful so i'm assuming he will be fine right thank you and then you're gonna want power as well yeah 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 yeah, yeah. you know so and, and all of a sudden the scaling already starts um there's a the rotate button as well um nope that wasn't it uh e e and q can rotate on an build mode sweet And yeah, just connect that up, that's fine. And then we need to bring you along, right? All the way to here. And keep going, just all the way. Right, that should do. Good, 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 good. So I'm hoping you like this sort of um, this form of content because it's gonna be a slightly different, um, a obviously non-interactive, and I really just aim to sort of show off the game, right? Just if it's something that you'd want, you know, go and check out the Steam page. Uh, it's on sale there. But I don't know if it's on sale, um, but you know you can buy it. So it's not on a specific offer, as such. Um, but it's not exactly an expensive game either, if I remember correctly. Let me actually, while we're here, uh, I can just jump into the store page, right? Let me just go and check that out. It is essentially what, at the moment, it is actually 25% off. So, you know, might be the perfect time to grab it. It's only 14 quid. So, like, possibly $20. Couldn't, couldn't tell you exactly in, in dollars, to be honest. Um... Wait, you need to not be a thing right now. And apologies. So, um, but no, this is looking good. You know, science is being produced, and we can now do research. So, we're gonna research farming, and you can only do one research at a time. Now, I imagine. That uh, yes. We have now unlocked simple farms and we can provide food for these guys, right? Because that's sort of the next thing that, that they want. Survival food. Well, let's do that. In our case, fairly straightforward. We just built a few simple farms. Um, I guess.
get the feeling that water may need to be another thing. As in just get another water air filter plonked in here, and then I can build the farms. Like so, maybe. And then once we have piping available, we can actually pipe water straight into those places and we don't need to rely on trucks there. <coughs> um, we see the first food being delivered. Right, survival food. And there's a habitat upgrading in, well, less than a minute now. Right, so while that is building, that's all good. And we finished the tutorial. Okay. Because let's, let's pause. You can hit just space and then it'll just pause the game right um and you see our first habitat habitat is upgraded to you know the next level it now takes 12 habit uh, inhabitants instead of 10. now to get to the next thing on to the next level we need home appliances and this is sort of the path that you had to take in the in the pre-release uh, in, in early access uh, for science you know, you, you had to build the electronics for that first. Those were then making the signs. But I digress. Home appliance. That's, that's going to be interesting. Because now I need to figure everything out from scratch. Okay. Um, maybe I need to research something for that. So what do we need to get? Ha. Huh. There's the home appliance factory. So we need electronics for that for sure. And that unlocks also the copper mine, the electronics factory, and the plastic factory. Okay. Uh, go! Wait, might as well. So another habitat upgraded. And not enough power in the network. So this is something that in the beginning is sort of going to be fairly common. To run, I'll be honest. Um, I think I'm going to bring it one more along. If I can. Yeah, it's got to let me build there. That's fine. Cool. Then connect it. And you can see the power consumption and need there. So we should really be extending that even more. So what I might do is try and... Eh. What if we just... No grid for a second. Just get me right in there. Nope. And then you can still rotate, by the way, but freely with E, e, e and Q. I like that spot. Um, let's not build that up too much, but I can come in here and put one there, right? Bam. Right, this should connect all of them, and I can get my get rid back. Thank you. Now we're producing 120 instead of just 80. So now we're actually satisfying all the needs of power. There, that's good. Uh, research nearly done. Mm, yes, yes. Uh, that's iron. That's not what we're needing. We need copper next. And it means actually all right that we've sort of built out here, right? Because I can just grab you, I hope. Um, like let's let's pause for a second. I want to actually take a second to really do this nicely. Um, yeah, come down here to say there, and then I can bring it along and place my mines there and anything else I need. Good. So first off, small mine, copper. Let's just you know I don't know like. 
two for now. I really don't know about the scaling at the moment, so I, I would need to look at that. But you know, the thing is, you know, realistically, uh, let's look at the science for example. It, it tells you actually you need two oil uh, and one carbon, right, for each blue, blue science pack. So I know I need like at least four actually for those two and two carbon producers, which you know I have and no nothing else takes carbon at the moment. Um, I mean, why not? Why the heck not, right? Might as well scale it properly. Right, but there you go, that, that, that's that for example. Now if we look at the next one, what's that? Um, that's low-tech industry, okay, so we need Right, okay. So we need the electronics factory first. And that I'm going to cl keep close because it actually gives bonus, uh, uh, boni or bonuses to the factory. It gives a 10% increase in production because, or efficiency, um, because it's close to the copper mines, right? Um, so how much do you take? You take two iron ore and two copper ore. So, hello. I did not realize actually that I would need to do iron at the same time, but it's fine. You know, I'm just going to bring it up there. I mean, why the heck not? Iron mine. How many? Two iron ore and two copper ore for one of those. Okay. How does that look in relation to. No. Uh, industry, low-tech industry, to these. I need two electronics. Let's just plunk one down here. Actually, let's put it there. And what's that? <coughs> and plastic. Holy schnitzel. That went right up. I mean, like, holy moly. Uh, so, what's a plastic factory? That's oil. Okay, so let's see, I could do maybe something like this, right? That is conceivable, and then let me just build into here. Um, yeah, I want them fairly low, that's it. Can we, I don't know. Try that. Okay, I'm hoping that if I now put oil extractors here, that they're just gonna connect. Yes. Right, that's those two basically extra for the plastic factory. The Plastic factory produces two plastic each turn, and you need only one. So, you know, we're actually overproducing, but I'm not even complaining. That is a good thing for now. Um, is this it? Is that all I need? Iron? No, you need, you're going to need power, right? That's just gotta be a thing. Um, don't like doing this, but and then bring it over to there. Um, same from here. Like bring it to that corner, and then just there, I suppose. Right? Who else? Oh yeah. Of course, of course, you're not quite happy there. So just plunk one there. Oh. I had a notification of some sort. I don't know what the notification was, but there was one. It is fine. Um, 
Never claimed, by the way, that I was a professional at this game. I was just saying that I'm sure going to show you the game. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, I, I like the game. I, it's always fascinated me in a, in a way. And, and I've really done things very efficient, inefficiently uh, with the way the travel works. But it's a thing right now. Okay, and you need more water. Okay. We can, we can do water, right? I don't even mind adding adding extra water. And what I would like to do then... One, two... I hope this works out the way I plan it. Right, if I do this, and then... No, not our atmosphere. Water air filter. We bring it out this way. And another atmosphere processor. I can basically... Where's the basic houses again? Yes, I can do this. Oop, nope. Gosh darn it. We can, you know, get more people in. Because we're going to need them. Like, we have 86 jobs, we've only got 80 people, so, you know, that won't do. We're going to wait with the next research, right? I want to stabilize the city a little bit. There's a lot going on already. My goodness, that, that, that grew out of control very, very quickly here. <laughs> and there's the first iron, I think, arriving here. I'm hoping anyways. Yeah. Yeah, and we're going to need more power. I, I see that already. We're consuming more than we're producing, so no es bueno. Um, pick you. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to take a hit on that one. Okay, uh, that one's sort of self-inflicted, but it's fine. Okay, enough power, good, and enough people again. So this is very important, and this is where I've sort of hamstrung myself every single time last time, um, is this sort of population thing. Like, how many jobs are you requiring to be filled, and how many people do you actually have? Um, and I've sort of overscaled every single time for some reason, so I'm going to take it a bit slower this time. Um... But yeah, let me see. This this all looks good, right? Um, this is all set up. We've we've made our first science, you know, all that good stuff. So let's let's do a bit of more research, right? Let's investigate maybe one-way roads. Okay, I, th I, th I think that could be an important little improvement for us, because for example. This road here, realistically, needs to be one way. There should be no way traffic should ever travel downwards towards the mines to do anything. There's nothing there, okay? Um, and I assume that the same could be said for a few other roads. Like, for example, this guy here. Uh, the, the only way that ever goes is, is down towards the main carrier here. Which this will probably become. Um, it should never enter any traffic. There should be no need to. Right? And I think that is sort of one of the first optimizations you can make. Because you're still providing two lanes. But they're now going both in the same direction. I wouldn't want to do it here. Because I sort of done a stupid thing with the electronics factory. If I had done the electronics factory against this part of the road, it'd have been fine. Could have actually told this part of the road to just be one way, but you know, mistakes were made. Um, yes. I like it, I like it, I like it. So, we're a little bit slow on the water, I think. It seems, anyways. So, you know, let's let's help it out. Um, 
Gonna build, essentially, yeah. Two more water towers. Give it another atmosphere process as well. Um, don't worry about power, you'll get your power. And then, what was the food situation like? Seems alright. Don't know, we'll see. Power. Give me more. What I'm gonna do is bring you along. Like so, for now. Don't know how I'm gonna do coverage back here. I might have to do a thing like that. Whoop. See. But yes, habitat. Ooh, upgraded already. Oh, look at that. We're, we're actually, you know, we've already reached the next stage with these guys. That's awesome. We can now have 140 population. I think we actually do. Yes, and only got 90 odd jobs going, no, but this is good. Um, power is just going to be such a big hog in this game. It is literally just a thing. In the beginning, you're just building tons of these windmills. Um, okay, there's enough power again. But yes, I think this is a good little start so far. We probably need to pro uh, provide more home appliance by the looks of it. Right. Um, we've got plenty of the stuff stored. So, what's the solution here? Um... I would say we've got plenty of jobs left over. I'm reckoning if I done something like say, you know, click, click, and um, click, click, and we need more oil as well. I think for that because of the plastic process, right? Um. Outgoing storage is full. And not enough power in the network. Oh, yeah, oh of course. That's, that's, that's always a thing. Uh, why am I paused? Because of the power? Is it? Is that what I'm doing here? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that will do there. Go and just connect that, please. What is... Oh, outgoing storage folder, that's what's happening. Okay, 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 I understand. Can we store that? I don't know if... The, ooh. Ooh, what did I break there? Oh, uh, yeah, I didn't like that. Schnitzel. Like that, maybe? What? Oh. Do you actually want proper road connections? Like, do you want actually... Yeah, it looks like it actually wants like this. Do you have no? It's just one. And can we at least do this? Yes, we can. We we can at least cross connect it. So. So what other use actually? What what do you have? You have oh, sorry, uh, plastic, and you're going to the home appliances factory. See, I love it even shows you the path it's gonna take. And yeah, we're basically just making it, but not quite fast enough, I think. 
That's literally just, yeah. Uh, put another one down. So the, the first one we need then is the, you know, electronics. I might as well just do something like this, I don't know. Um, put another home appliance factory down here. And I didn't do the plastic over here, did I? No, I did not. So, you know, just... Bonk. Put that right in there. Right. Yes, many iron pieces going that way. Um, I think also my, my road got... No, I didn't get that yet. Researching was why... Oh, I'm researching. I can't, I can't research that yet. Right, I've just noticed that. Uh, this is requiring green research, which I can't do yet. Because... Uh, uh, green science there. So you know, there's a whole thing that we need to have aluminum, uh, aluminium mining first. Um, so yeah, not quite. Let's maybe do something that we can actually do, like steel production and solar panels, and that too. Like I feel, well, well, they're green ones, but if I do steel production, okay, and then probably aluminium mining. Oh, actually, no, we'll go, we'll go do pipes first. Oh, you can't actually queue things up. That's awesome. That's still a thing then. I'm just wondering about that. Um, but yeah, you know, that's the next two researchers going and you're complaining because you're lacking what iron and plastic but you know it, it, it's coming <laughs> there's a whole train of stuff coming hooray i can be built a steel mill when when i need it i'm not even gonna do that right now i don't need to worry about it how they're all lining in there <laughs> um, and then there's a whole another bunch of trucks coming here with this um, you've got iron you've got plastic now this is a home appliance right and that's going to a nice habitat to refill it up there <laughs> I love it Um, so power situation is barely okay there. I'm gonna need more um, very soon because even the habitat upgrades are taking more power. So you know that's that's a thing too. Uh, I don't care. Just just plonk it there. A lot of that is gonna get replaced anyways as soon as I have solar. Um, but you know, in this game, there's always something to do. You're never quite, you know, just done. And there's, there's always another production line or another, um, yeah, yeah, production line, I suppose, that needs um, reinforcing, that needs more resources, you know, or you need more power. There's, there's always something. It's actually quite typical for these sort of games. I suppose that's part of the challenge, right? So I would play these. Um, so you take steel and concrete and adamantite. Okay, that's that's new. And I think we're going to have to get into steel construction rather sooner than later. Um, yes. Yes, because it can't put, deliver the, the goods to there, um, to wherever it's supposed to. I'd rather have outgoing storages full at the moment than not enough of the resource produced. Makes sense? Um, so what did I just... Oh, that was the steel production that we've done. So steel mill is... Oh, that one wants water. Right, that one wants water, carbon and iron. Well... Let me... 
I mean, why not? Let's just put you there. And that's the thing. We, we have plenty of the resources that we need for all this at the moment. I really have no, no concerns there. Right, as long as we're starting to make steel soon. And water, plenty of water there. Getting the iron in. A yeah, little, little low on carbon. But I think there's more coming now. Yeah. So really not an issue. We, we can easily support one of these for now. And it makes like five steel every, every turn. So, you know. We'll be fine with that. Good. Did I... Oh, that's, that's a green research. You can't do that, Sebastian. As in, like, you can literally not do that. What's a border fence? Fence, fence gates, pixel buildings, like what? So much more, my goodness. Um, okay, what, what, what is... I can only do now aluminum, aluminum mining. That's, that's really the next only step. Okay, go for it, do it. Do it, do it, do it. I want you to do it. Do it now. And that's probably also going to be my road down here into this area, right? Eh, possibly. And it has that potential. I mean, right past the uranium, that's, that's going to be awesome. <laughs> uh, methane. Like, so one of our next sort of resources is going to be methane, actually. Um, Hooray! I have an aluminium mine that I can build. If I knew where the blinking stuff was now. Did I not consider... And this is all methane. Uranium, methane. Oh, crud. Uranium, no, uh, no use for that. Uh, oh my goodness. Uh, there's three mines up there, but that's... Um, whoopsie doopsie. That's gotta be an expensive undertaking to get anything from there. Um, trying to plan it at the moment. Maybe I could even do a. Ooh, yeah. Let me, let me, let me try something here. So I'm gonna build more road for now. And bring it along quite a bit still. All right, you come with me. No, it's on this here thing. I think that's perfect. And yes, that's exactly what I wanted. It's weird that it's not properly grid aligned. Trying to find one that's not going to look so janky, but... See here, right, and then we're gonna come along. Gosh, uh, it's so I didn't quite do that right, but it's fine. This this should work. I'll come to there. So maybe, and then can we just bridge that over like so? Okay. Who 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 says incoming storage empty? Normally you get an icon in above a building if there's something missing or something wrong. So I don't see that at the moment. So just just go away tutorial, right? I have I have bigger elements to fry right now. Oh, did I really do that? Uh, well, I suppose I'm gonna leave it now. Cause nope, not losing all that concrete. Um, 
mines, small mines, aluminium. So like one, two. I'll do for now. I just need to bring power there now. <laughs> For now, yes, just bring it down here. I don't rightly care. As long as we have some coverage along the road. And I can connect you there. Okay, this should be... Probably way too much. But yeah, aluminium mine. Good. Um, and now it wants me to make green science as a green science pack factory and a chemicals lab. Oh, oh yeah, yes, that's that's exactly what I was doing. Don't freak me out so much. Um, or computers, microchip factory, computer factory. <laughs> I don't know how the the requirements here work but we're gonna do maybe like so okay computers first and then green science what is it anyways that you just want for next stage oh you just want computers right okay so <laughs> working on that right now then and then the next one would be a park to really make us all happy well well we'll we'll see um but yeah let me know down in the comments if you want to see more of this by the way um you know Absolutely, that'd be always appreciated because it helps me also, you know, figure out what my next series might be. Um, please leave a like and subscribe. That's always appreciated as well because, you know, f feeding the algorithm gods is, is a thing. Um, yeah, what else? If you like this sort of content in general, you can also go and check out our Discord, right? Uh, I've got a little Discord group going where we share, share like-minded gameplay. We have different, you know, we have three different channels going at the moment my, my, my wife's got my try that again my wife's got her own channel so and uh, unique livoni you'll find her on youtube and then you've got buckley gaming that's buckley with a three instead of an e um yeah and he, he does you know again different games all together so there's something for everyone go and check that out that's always quite cool and we're a very inclusive community i would say of just chill family members of just you know i would say mid-generation gamers or those that just even game for fun in between like my wife she's not an avid gamer but you know she still had her contact with playstations and um xboxes that that pretty much and then since she met me obviously got in touch with the pc side of it things so that's where she's gaming now. Um, but yeah, this is our first hour. You know, we've, we've pretty much already covered quite a lot of it. Of this, this little map. Uh, big sprawling, I wouldn't say metropolis, just an industrial hub of sorts. You know, but we've, we're making all sorts of different resources already available to us. We've, we've got chemicals coming next very soon. Um, you know, we've got people, people living with us. All that good stuff we're building infrastructure we've got all sorts of mines we've got power going all that good stuff um <clears throat> i would like to see this come on computers immigration and then when the houses are full obviously you can't get in more people in and that, that's got to be a thing at some point until we upgrade either the houses or build just more of them um, for now, I'm quite happy to leave as is. We have many of, plenty of people. We have less jobs than people, as a matter of fact. So you know, it's a nice balance right now. Come on, research quicker. Uh, wondering how 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 we no blue signs in storage. So.
it seems like we could do with more oil. I don't know at the moment. Although we might be fine. I'm just going to observe for a second. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I think this is all quite nice, actually, at the moment. Is this aluminium actually going anywhere? No, we're not using it for anything, which is fine. Um, that's going to be the computers, I reckon. That's going to be using that, right? Going to build that right there, probably. Probably a stupid idea, but no. Yeah. That's a steel mill. So the microchip factory comes first, obviously. So that's gonna need. Was that sand? Sand and ele electronics. Okay, I, I shouldn't have built that. By the way, that was that was stupid. Um, Sand and electronics. So we're going to need probably another electronics factory. Right. We're making two electronics per run. And this takes two per run as well. So, yeah, most definitely. So, first off. Low-tech industry, electronics factory. And, I don't know, put it there. Okay. Then the microchip factory. What I'm going to do with that. Ooh, ooh. Come on, let me let me in there. Okay, and then I'm just gonna plonk a small sand mine right there. Right that way that not the wind turbine, the microchip factory has sand literally right available, right there. Um electronics coming from there, okay. I'm not worried about iron, we seem to have enough of it. Um so what's the next step? Oh, okay. Uh, Microchip factory. Oh, is that a mid-tier? Mid-tech. It is. And it takes those... What? What? What is that in them? Hmm. Seems like a new resource. I don't quite know what the iconography means. Let's plonk it down and see what happens. I'm going to leave that free so I can put a rope through that. Well, what is this? Ah, oh, aluminium ore. Yes, we, 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 we have. Uh, power. Power would be good. Plonk, plonk, plonk. And, I don't know, I... Um... Yeah, like so, right? And then, what's the other one? Is plastic. Okay, another plastic factory probably wouldn't go amiss in this case then. And I'm thinking very sneakily. If I could do a thing, I don't know, like... Come here. And just lay a road at the back here. Okay, and it's not mine, it's, um, yes, you, even this would do me, right? And we have unlocked green science, chemical labs and green science packed factory, okay. So that was an achievement, actually. Nice. Um, so chemicals lab is straightforward. I just... What? Do you just put it right in the middle of this? Aluminium, copper, crude oil, sulfur, sand. Yeah, it, it looks like... Um... I'm just trying to figure out how to actually get a hold of that chemical. 
Yeah, yeah, it needs to actually be placed on, on, on a resource node of, of chemicals. Right. We can do that. Like, I'm gonna place, like, two there, say. It's gotta be a weird role construction, I realize, but eh. Embrace the spaghetti. Just, just embrace it, okay? You want power too? Well, I'm gonna tell you what, I'm gonna actually give you more. This this seems like a big empty field I could probably use for that for a second, right? When I mean for a second, I mean like for a good for a good while. Chemicals being made right now. Look at that. Science. Green. Um, I, I like to keep my grind, uh, my, my science stuff like together. Just, ooh. And then I, I, I reckon if I had you there, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Can't get all the, can't get the best of both worlds. Both worlds. Don't care. Um, do this actually. Okay. do you want for that sand aluminium chemicals and blue science packs aluminium is okay sand you know what because I feel thusly inclined uh, boom. get your own sand supply there um, then chemicals should be coming from there right and I think this is as good a place as any to say, you know, thanks for watching. This is basically what the game's played like. You know, what you can do and what you can achieve. Um, I think for now I'm just going to leave it here. Thanks again. If you like this sort of content, please leave a like and subscribe. Leave me any comments down below if you want to see more of this. Uh, if you want to see less of this, that's fine too. Let me know, right? Until next time, thanks again and peace out. Bye!